Hello Wargamers, uh, today I want to talk about a couple exciting releases, some of them from Grimskull Miniatures, but potentially more exciting uh, are some releases coming up from Forge World, all this Tau stuff, uh, so be sure to stick around to the end for that. But yeah, so getting on with the Grimskull Miniatures stuff first, uh, there's two sculpts coming out that they have as works in progress. The first is a Tau speeder bike based off of a kit bash that was done a while ago um, and I think I think that originally was done using parts from a, a ghost keel but this sculpt here is um, you know a completely new model uh, it looks pretty cool uh, I'm really excited about this I, it's a bit big for a lot of things that you could use it as stand-ins it's too big to be a drone uh, I think but uh, you could you could use it as a stand-in for a sniper drone I think it's a little bit larger than than that based on kind of the proportion of a fire warrior there. It's a bit bit, bit larger than a sniper drone, but still I would I would use this over normal sniper drones just because it's so cool. Um, you could also potentially use it as a alternative sculpt for a tetra. I think uh, it looks like it's probably about the same the same length and width as a tetra, so that would be a good option there. Um, but yeah, really exciting, really nice details. I love the the bottom of it, the undercarriage. Uh, I think is real nice, and uh, of course the the giant gun in front is pretty cool too. But all around, a really exciting miniature. That and the um, ethereal fire blade sculpt that I talked about a couple weeks ago, I think, are going to be two things that I'll be looking for to to pick up from them. The second uh, new Tau release that they're coming up is something I'm I'm not excited about to be honest with you, but I still wanted to share it. Um, I, it's this really uh, kind of uh, gothic samurai sculpt of a of a Tau. Uh, I I just don't like it. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, it has some really nice detail on it, a lot of layering, a lot of. Um, a lot of good armor work on this but the the pose is not very exciting for me the armor is too off base uh, you know I think if you were if you were doing an entire Tau army based on samurais that might be cool but uh, otherwise it's just not gonna it's not gonna fit in uh, it looks too too fantasy like uh, for my taste and the face is not <laughs> not very appealing to me either unfortunately um, you know, that's not necessarily anything a critique of the, the sculpting. There's not a lot that you can do with, with uh, a Tau face, I, I think. I think there's, a, you know, not a lot of definition in a Tau face, and so the it can be difficult to sculpt them in a way that actually looks cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh, not, not my favorite, but I wanted to share that with you anyway. The... Forge World stuff that I mentioned at the beginning, though, is uh, poop your pants exciting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's the return of the Barracuda. Yes. So if you're not aware, the Barracuda is a Tau flyer. Uh, one of the, the better ones, uh, at least for Tau. Certainly better than any of the flyers that are in the Codex. It's basically a flying hammerhead. And it was taken off the web store a while ago and they were saying that you know the standard line oh well we're reworking the cast we're you know dealing with it and a lot of times that doesn't really pan out um, they kind of just disappear and this is one of the times where it, it worked out really nicely so Barracuda is back it is now the XV5-2 uh, Barracuda and it is amazing um, so not only is it a, a great sculpt, I love how sleek it is. It has a lot more detail, a lot more definition, looks much more aerodynamic. Um, tons of great things to, to say about this. The angles are all right. Um, everything just clicks with this, and I really like it. Um, way better than the, the old Barracuda, uh, which, you know, I was, I liked, you know, it was okay, but it really looked to me just, you know, really... Uh, underwhelming um, kind of the same thing that the the orca had going for it. it's a cool concept but the sculpt itself uh, is pretty 
lackluster. You know, it's like a box. So that's that's cool, but not something I really want to spend a bunch of money on. And the this new Barracuda, man, uh, you know, does not have that problem. Really dynamic, tons of detail, looks great. Um, but yeah, there are some really interesting changes with it as well. The old Barracuda generally came with a, a ion cannon and some burst cannons uh, and then missile pods. This one has a bunch of new weapon options. Uh, so not it still comes with the uh, missile pod, the ion cannon, and the burst cannons. But you can now switch out the main gun. Instead of being an ion cannon, it can also be a presumably long barrel burst cannon and or, you know, a heavy burst cannon like the one on the Riptide. Um, or a rail gun, it looks like. So it looks like you have rail, burst, and ion options for your main weapon here, which is great. Uh, having a rail gun in the sky can be pretty awesome. So that that is definitely appealing there. Uh, the secondary weapons, the burst cans, can be switched out for what looked to be the ion weapon from the ghost keel. Another thing I want to mention is that it looks like it has multiple seeker missiles below it so there's two that are popping up right away and then i think there's two additional that are loading out so that's a total of four seeker missiles and it also has this back turret to it too which is uh something different you know the the old barracuda had the the two secondary weapons you know on the outside of the wings which you know, kind of was a, a weird design there. These ones are nested in the back, which looks way better. Um, but the there's also a third kind of turret thing right in the back, a tail gunner. And I'm guessing that that is a marker light, just based on the, the images that we have here. Not sure. Uh, it could be something different, but uh, it looks like it's probably going to be a marker light or some sort of uh, special piece of war gear that, that we don't know about yet. But yeah, so... Really uh, great loadout, very excited. Now, there's probably going to be a couple things associated with that, right? It's probably going to have a, a higher point cost, I would guess, or at least it, you know, you'll know you have to pay for those upgrades when the rules are released for this. And then also, it's probably going to cost a lot more than the, than the old Barracuda in terms of dollar-dollar of dollar bills. So uh, I'm guessing that, that this will have a nice price tag associated with it, but you know, compared to the old Barracuda, depending on what that price point is, it's probably going to be, you know, a better bang for your buck, uh, you know, both aesthetically and rules-wise. So that's that's exciting there. Uh, really an outstanding model. Really great. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's not going to be available right away. Like a lot of Forge World releases, it's going to be available at Warhammer Fest or, you know, some some uh, Games Workshop event, but yeah, this one's going to be at Warhammer Fest. So if you're lucky enough to be attending there, I encourage you to pick one up. But yeah, other than that, uh, that's all the exciting news I have for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and of course, happy wargaming.